In this video, we are going to learn how to use the tube command in Siemens NX. So let's start. First of all, this is the part on which we are going to apply the tube command. But before that, we are going to learn about the basics of the tube command, like how the tube is going to be get used and what are the different kinds of options which are provided in the dialog box of the tube command. So let's begin with the very basics. So for that, first of all, I'm going to hide this and show you these curves which will be used in the tube command. So to use the tube command, you have to first go to the menu, then go to insert, then here you will find the option of sweep and in sweep, you will get the option of tube. As per the definition, it is going to create a solid body by sweeping a circular cross section along a curve with options for outer and inner diameter. That means this command is going to offer you the privilege for having the outer and inner diameter. So I'm going to select the curve here, which is this one. And the outer diameter is going to be 10 mm for the visualization purpose so that you can clearly notice that what changes are taking places in the graphics window. Now just click on show results and you'll see that the tube formation has taken the place like this. Now you have noticed that there are multiple lines here like this, one, two, three, and so on. So these are said to be a segments and we can eliminate these segments by converting the option to the as settings. And now we can choose the option of single segment. In the settings option, you'll get the option of output and click on single segment. Now just click on show result and you can notice the change that those segments have been disappeared and this entire tube has been covered in a single segment. So this is the flexibility regarding the settings with the output option. Now just click on undo result and we are going to check the inner diameter option. In the inner diameter, I'm going to give the value as 4 mm and click on show results. Now, what is the outer diameter and what is the inner diameter? So the diameter which you are currently looking at is said to be as outer diameter and this diameter, which is this one, and this is going to be get subtracted from the entire of the tube. This is said to be as inner diameter. So this is the formation of the tube with the outer diameter and with the inner diameter. Now just click on OK and this is the tube. Now. We can also check for the sections also. For that, I'm just going to change the view to shade it with the edges so that you can notice the changes more clearly into the graphics window. Now, just go to the tube. For the, for the tube, I can also go to this panel and here I'll get the tube. The recent commands will be get stored here. Like what are the recent commands I have used in this software? So just go to the tube command here and I'm going to click on this. This time I'm going to give the outer dia as 50 and check what is the issue with the dia. If so, it will state an error. Now you can see this diameter has been covered on this section. So I'm going to give it as 200 and we'll check for the error if so. Now you can see this has been entirely disrupted with the section. Why so? Because the outer diameter is out of the reach of this section. So you have to focus on these parameters also like uh, what kind of outer diameter is going to be get covered on that particular section. So currently I'm going to give it as 20 and this is going to be as 15 and click on show results. Now you can see outer diameter and inner diameter have been covered on this section aesthetically. Now just click on OK. So this is how the parameters of the tube command are. Now we are left with the boolean operations. Now let's check them out quickly. So I'm going to hide them and just show the part which I have hidden in the very beginning of this video. So I'm going to hide the sketches along with the planes and datum. And along with that, I'm going to hide the sheet bodies also because I need the solid body only. So I'm going to hide all the things except the solid body. Now here, we have checked the tube for the sketches. Like those were the sketches on which I have applied the tube. Now I'm going to apply the tube on the edges of the part body. And along with that, I'm also going to check for the Boolean operations. Here we have three Boolean operations, which are unite, subtract, 
and intersect and if you do not want to apply any of the boolean operation you can choose the boolean operation as none so it will create a solid body which is not going to be get integral part of the body of this body okay so i'm going to apply the outer diameter as 2 mm and this is going to be applied as 0 mm and this is going to be as this edge this inner edge now just click on show result but before that i'm going to apply the outer dia as 2 now click on show result now you can see this is how it will look like and in case i want to unite this so for that i have the option of unite and i'm going to select this body which is automatically selected because this body is the only body which is in the graphics window now just click on show results and here the body will get appeared as the integral part of the main body now just click on apply results now similarly i'm going to apply the tube here but with one mm of outer dia and this time i'm going to apply the operation as subtract and click on show results now you can see here if i just go zoom in here so now you can see the circular portion of the tube has been subtracted from the main body so this is the usage of the tube command along with that we have covered the basics of the tube command now let's have a quick recap of this uh, video first of all we have just gone to the tube command and in the tube command we have discovered about the path like what are the path choices we have we can select the curve sketch or the edges of the part body along with that we have studied about the outer diameter and the inner diameter later on we have discussed about the boolean operations and along with that we have the output segments as multiple or single so this completes the entire package of the tube command i hope you have enjoyed the learnings of this video if so please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much